Hello everyone! I'm so excited for today's interview. I know I say that every time, but this one is gonna be so delicious because we're gonna talk about two really delicious topics with one of my clients from the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind, Miki, who's gonna be sharing with you how she went from having an income plateau for like over a year and how she entered the five-figure paradigm inside of the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind, even while everyone in the world was talking about this big recession that was happening. She's gonna tell us how she actually broke through everything and you're gonna walk away with some really amazing, simple but amazing takeaways to help you if you're experiencing that. And of course, she's gonna share her experience inside the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. So, Miki, welcome, how are you? Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Oh my God, so good to have you here. All right, so let's introduce you to the world. Who are you? What do you do? Who do you help? Let's talk a little bit about who you are so that people get some context. Yeah, so my name is Mickey Maruko, and I am a business and life coach, and I help experienced impact-driven professionals and experts market and sell with integrity, um, to make their businesses profitable and finally reach their first 100K. Ooh, I love that. That is so clear. I love that so much. I'm, I'm squealing because I know that before you came into the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind, one of the things that you shared was that you just were not clear on what you, how, how you introduced yourself. So let's start talking about that. What, where were you at in your business before you came in? What was going on and what inspired you to join? Yeah, I think like a lot of, um, you know, business owners in this space, your niche evolves as you, as you evolve in your business and um, keeps shifting. And I think I just was really struggling to communicate what I did or who I helped and what I helped them do in a yeah. way that was really clear. Um, so, yeah, and every just what I was saying, every time that I introduced myself, I found myself saying something different and I was like, what is going on here? Like, I just need to be a bit more clear and concise about about my message and about how I help people. Yeah, amazing. And so what did you feel when you first saw the mastermind? Like, what was your experience? Were you one of those people that was like, I'm ready to go first thing you saw it? Or were you like following for a while? What was your your experience in the whole process? Yeah, I was definitely following for a while. Yeah. Um, I can't even tell you how long, like probably over a year. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and just watching with a lot of interest at all the people going through and watching these clients spotlight series yeah. <laughs> and, and just, I yeah, I really, for me, love the diversity of the different clients. Mm. Like there was just you, like diversity in terms of, you know, their field of business, their ethnicity, like just, it just seemed like there was a lot of, yeah, just a lot of diversity. And I really, that really just appealed to me so good yeah here we have a lot of diversity niches culturally racially gender there's just like so much diversity in so many different ways so i love that okay so let's talk a little bit about the things that you did that you learned inside of the mastermind that really helped you break that plateau so tell us about like um you know what was one of the first things that really helped you go from inconsistent kind of like low k months to really having, um, you know, a five figure month and really entering that paradigm. So what was one of the first things? Yeah, well, uh, we spoke about just clarifying my message and mm -hmm. getting really grounded and confident in what I offered. Yeah. Um, so much so that I was able to raise my prices on that as well. Mm -hmm. So that was the first thing I think. And that's really what I came into the mastermind for, mm -hmm. right? Is like, I wanted to have a magnetic message and um and so that people felt compelled to work with me yeah. and i really felt that that happened during the time in the mastermind um i had people finding me on instagram and deciding to work with me within weeks um when i hit that highest came like highest income month and i was just blown away and i was like wow that that just shows that it's working yes so good guys clarifying your message is like the secret weapon or whatever secret potion for 
making things just pop without feeling like we have to do new things all of the time or introduce ourselves or innovate all of the time it's just like stick to one thing and the one thing works easy okay so by the way i want to i want to touch on something because um that is important that i feel like it's important we didn't discuss this before our preparation for this call but i want to say that from an energetic perspective a lot of people think that in order to become a premium coach you need to be like juliana like you need to be like loud and this and coaching and this and it's like woo this energy and you are so many of my clients are the total opposite of me like mount bikers totally not you know whatever and you're one of them that are you're so different from like my personality and even in how you like to get coached you like to listen you like to really kind of process you know raising your hand all the time to get all the coaching and so i just want to invite the conversation uh, or, or for everyone to notice that you don't have to be like me to become a premium coach. Like Mickey's personality is totally different. And so I'm actually curious, Mickey, if we can if we can just touch this on this a little bit. What does it feel like to have a coach that it's totally different personality than you, but that guides you to your inner compass? Like what was that like for you? Um, so that people can really see themselves in you because not everyone is like me, you know? <laughs> yeah for sure and um and it's definitely like one of the things that i you know saying to you that when you struggle with something yourself like you know it's often the thing that that um, you end up helping other people with so i it, it was amazing to be coached by you for sure and to be in the mastermind um i am really different to you <laughs> I am a, a, an introvert. I yeah. um, show up very differently on social media, all of the things. Yeah. But, um, but I think that you hold space for everyone. Um, you bring, you know, you are so welcoming and you bring enough energy for all different types of people. And I think that shows in the diversity that you attract as well. And, and one of the things that you definitely um, communicate well is that we don't have to be like you. We don't have to do the things that you're doing. It's not, it's not about replicating Juliana and replicating the way that you run your business or the way that you show up in your marketing. It's definitely about, you know, finding our own wisdom and in finding our own way of doing things. Um, so, yeah so beautiful i love that so much so that kind of takes us to the second thing that you did um which was you mentioned before the call you mentioned in our in our questionnaire when we send it out to reflect on the things that self-trust was really important to really break through that plateau and so tell us a little bit about what that looked like because i one of the things that i love that you said was that you trusted yourself so deeply that you just knew you had what you needed in order to create success like that clicked when you got coached that you didn't need to like look out for other things outside of yourself that the answers were always really actually within and they sound so cliche but tell us a little bit about what how that helped you in in the in the confidence to really step into this new paradigm yeah so before the mastermind i was definitely delegating authority mm -hmm. you know i was like looking for the answers outside of myself i was looking to other people in you know, maybe other competitors and really paying attention, what are other people doing um, and questioning what I was doing. And then, you know, I think learning to trust yourself and your own expertise, um, which is what you guide, you know, guided certainly me to do. Um, it it looks like just, just not even paying attention to anyone else. Like I spend mm -hmm. so much less time on social media now. Mm -hmm. I don't really follow other people, especially not in my space. Yeah. Um, and I'm not constantly questioning and overthinking, I think mm. what I'm doing, I'm just so grounded in this is my path. This is what I need to talk about. This is what I offer. These are my clients. Oh. And I think that just that energy came through and, you know, I, I don't, I only show up on social media a couple times a week. <laughs> and wow. I think, you know, that energy comes through when I do yeah. show up of like, this is just me and I'm happy being myself and, you know, not being, not having like sparkly filters or champagne glasses and 
that's totally fine. And I can still attract my ideal clients, um, you know, by being grounded in my own expertise, knowing that I can help them. Oh, this is like my favorite thing ever because it's so it's I love it when um, I have clients that are so the opposite of me that people get to see and they're like, oh, my God, they're totally not a carbon copy of Juliana. That's amazing. Like, I love sparkly champagne glasses with filters. Right. And you're like, that's totally not my vibe. And I love being coached by you. You guided me to my truth and I'm still attracting clients being me. Like there is nothing that feels more rewarding and fulfilling than what you just said for me as a coach. And, uh, and also just to, to know for everyone that I know who are going to be watching this interview, the right people are going to be watching it, who literally needed to hear that. Like you don't have to be a carbon copy of your coach. In fact, that damps your own magnetism. That is what like, it, it just betrays your own light. And so I love that you really were willing to step into your own ground and still be receptive to the coaching and still be so open and be guided and not reject what I was coaching you on because it came from, oh, well, that works for you because you're like that. Like you really were coachable and that's important, right? Like it's a co-creative experience, you know, I can't do it without you being receptive. So I just really want to honor you for that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, and I think to go, you know, to the last thing we were speaking about the energy that you bring to all the coaching calls um, which I think people can get from just watching you like, on <laughs> social media. But you really just bring a, a very, very sincere and beautiful energy mm. um, to the calls and to the mastermind that, you know, from my perspective, really raised everyone up who was in there, you know, really um, raised us up to a level where we felt you know, really in our bones, like, yes, I can attract premium clients. Like, this is who I am. This is what I do. So that we weren't like becoming you, but we were just stepping into a different version of ourselves, like that was there, but like needed maybe a little bit of a, a push to, to step into, to being that person. Oh God. So good. Tell us a little bit about the part about the recession. So tell me your experience how you know breaking through this plateau during the recession when everyone was like downgrade your prices let's figure out a way I think you mentioned that you were in different groups and, and there was a message that kind of was like you know tell us a little bit about that yeah there's just I think you know in the last quarter of this of last year and then even in beginning this year there's a lot of discussion about you know, people don't have a lot of money. There's a lot of financial concerns and for sure there is, right? Like there are people who are struggling and that I don't want to discount that. Yeah. But I think, you know, from the perspective of um, everyone in your mastermind and the service kind of services and coaching that we offer, our clients are not in that position. And I think you were just able to remind us of that and just remind us that the kind of clients that we're looking for are people who are ready to invest in themselves. They're looking mm -hmm. for a different, you know, for a different version of their life and and want that luxury service, right? Mm -hmm. And and want to feel like they are a premium client, that they're getting a premium service. And that's available whether there's a recession or not. And I think you just provided a really different perspective than mm -hmm anyone else I think was giving at that time that made all of us feel really empowered to go out there and and attract those clients yeah oh my god I love that so much and I love that for everyone who's watching right now and who'll be watching the replay because the recession is real like recessions these circumstances we're not discounting what they are but what is also very real is your control that you have to show up to the circumstance in the way that you want, that you can, that doesn't have to be based on what other people say. And that's what makes you become the exception to the rule. That's what makes you become the exception to everybody struggling. Like a lot of people are struggling, yes. And what are you gonna choose? What paradigm are you gonna choose? The paradigm everyone, everybody chooses? Or are you gonna be courageous and delusional, delusional enough to believe that, oh my God, maybe there are a few premium clients that are willing to invest right now. Maybe there's a few, if 
there's a few, there's 20, there's 20, there's 200. And then we just get to focus our energy on them, not on the lack of what it's or, or all the people that may not be buying because it's just and it's just shifting our focus to what we do have, what is present, what could potentially be the case and, and just play with that and allow ourselves to dream and to feel it and to actually receive it in a reality. Even if you don't see the clients right there raising their hand all with $10,000 in their pockets going like, I want it now. In, like really speak to your audience as if they were like that, as if they were raising their hand and saying, I have money to give you right now. When you do that, you are going to attract the people who are just watching you and were ready because you were speaking to that empowered version of themselves. And so I just love everything that you shared, Mickey. This was amazing. That's so good. Okay, so is there anything else that you want to share about the mastermind or anything that for anyone who's thinking about it who may be on the fence, um, anything that you want to offer? Um, yeah, no, I just, I think, you know, if you're looking to clarify your message, feel really confident about your your brand and, you know, what you are, what you stand for and what you offer, I think the, mag uh, the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind is a no brainer. Mm. Um, so worth it. It's such a wonderful container. The energy is amazing in there. Um, and I think everyone came out feeling just so grounded in who they were and what they offered. And yeah, I think everyone did really well too. Oh my God, there's such a, every, every cohort just keeps getting better and better. Cause I think people watch these interviews, they know what to bring, how to show up in the containers and then they just bring it. It's like full permission to be you, to be yourself, to celebrate, to like know that you're not gonna be in competition, that you're not gonna be told like, you're not doing it right for this and this way, like all parts of you are welcome. And so I love that. This is just the energy of the container. Every time everybody just has permission to just elevate so much, so so good Definitely. thank you so much for being here and for everyone who is watching i want to invite you to apply today to the magnetize and monetize mastermind is a three-month experience where i am going to change your life forever but really the practical thing i teach you how to do is to clarify your message so you can attract premium clients and truly i don't I, i'm just gonna let you go and scroll through all the testimonials which is kind of like what mickey did to join she just watched all these testimonials and she's like okay i'm in i'm gonna let you go and do that and trust your intuition that if you feel like you want to be coached in a really deep profound way somebody who really cares about you that actually has you know, wants you to wants you to win and gives you the practical and the energetic principles for you to win. This is a container for you. We love you. We adore you. And there's a VIP. There's a there's a free not a free. There's a bonus that I decided to uh, celebrate my to, to give you guys to celebrate that I'm moving to LA that I moved to LA. So everyone who joins this round actually gets a VIP day at my house in LA with me. So I'm super excited to give that away um, just to celebrate this new transition. So go ahead and apply. We start on, I'm not going to tell you the day because we're going to actually start. We're going to repurpose this from future. So apply today. We have a couple of weeks left. Make sure that you join right now. And thank you so much for being here, Mickey. You're amazing. Where can people find you if they want to work with you? Yeah, they can connect with me uh, over on Instagram. I'm on uh, at I am Mickey Maruko. Amazing. Yes. And Thanks I will, for having I me. Will tag you. Of course. My pleasure. All right, my love. So good to see you. I'll see you this week with another interview. Have an amazing day. Bye.